Canadian books. But have you ever read a folktale? I think you will like Chinese folktales best. Try reading more books so you can learn about Chinese folktales. If you're looking for a recommendation, read The Weaving of a Dream. In this book, an old widow spends the three years on a brocade. A habit to found in this book is greed, because after the wind takes the brocade, Limi, the eldest, goes to look for it and receives a box of gold. But instead of going to look for the brocade and going home to share the gold with his family, he went to the city to spend the gold on himself. The second son, Li Tu, also does the same, but after a long time of waiting, Li Ji, the youngest, wants to go, so... Finally, his mom lets him go. The mom is the old widow. Go. The youngest son does not show a greedy heart, and when the fortune teller offers him a box of gold, he refuses to take it. Lee Chi shows a kind heart. He goes off to some mountain, even though it means he has to go to the mountain of fire and the sea of light, and he must keep his cries to himself, even when it's hard. Half that you found in this book besides great and kindness is passion. Luigi the youngest has passion to do what's right even when it's hard. I'm going to give you the author's summary, then back to my summary. Okay, when a beautiful brocade is woven by a poor old widow, it's stolen by the fairies of some mountain. The three sons embark on a journey to go get the brocade back. The fairies take the brocade because they wish to copy it. The red fairy finished first, but when she put hers next to the old widow, hers looked dull. Later on in the book, Luigi wakes up in the night and has a stutter and thought that the fairies wouldn't give it back. So he takes the brocade, mounts his own horse, and goes back where he sees the fortune teller. And she returns his teeth and says, Go home, your mother's time. Put on these boots. They will get you home very fast. Luigi put them on, and quick as a week, he was home. Inside, her heart was beating its last. One more thing, Luigi marries the fairy at the end. Go ahead, find the book, and read it. It's a really good book. Enjoy.